Okay, welcome back everybody, and today is going to be an unboxing and product review of a product that I'm very excited about using, and that product is Sansize LED Lighting. I had to open the box in order to make sure it was the right product, so unfortunately I did have to do that part. But So we open up the box this way, and we got one, two bulbs to review here, and there's just a sticker on the inside some puffy bags so what we got here is LED lighting made for E26 sockets which is a standard light bulb socket I'm not sure if they come in other socket sizes they might for European viewers so you might want to contact them directly and see that I didn't specifically ask them that but these are two wonderful products and I'll tell you you're going to be pretty impressed by the intensity of the light on these bulbs. So, first thing I want to do is open each one of these and show you what's going on inside the box. So, as we open them up, you can get a little card that comes with it. And that's the front. Not that that's really important. Just wanted to show you what comes in the box. And you get a bulb, and that's all that's in there is the bulb. And this is what the bulb looks like. And as you can see, that's a standard E26 screw and socket size. So it'll fit all your standard lighting, not a problem. X001P4E8BN, 16 lead chip. So you got 16 LEDs in here. These are special full spectrum LEDs. These are not regular LED lights. These lights are designed specifically for growing, and they are a full spectrum light which carries you from the x-ray band all the way into the infrared band. Not that you're getting too much of the x-ray and infrared band, but it actually does produce enough of the x-ray and infrared band for your plants to grow effectively. The plants actually do need that a little bit. They develop a sunscreen, so when you're hardening off your plants, your transition from indoors to outdoors really shouldn't be as bad as growing under fluorescent lighting. And fluorescent lighting can be very harsh for your plants when you're bringing them outdoors. They can really go through transfer shock pretty badly. In fact, mine did this year really bad because of fluorescent lighting, but I really don't have a choice right now because that's the way I was set up and using it. But now that I am using a product like this, I'm very excited about potentially updating the way I grow my plants indoors. So my plants can be more productive. This bulb has a ceramic heat disc on the inside that has a little bit of weight to it and that is due to this ceramic disc on the inside. It's a heat sink that prevents it from overheating. It's basically air cooled. It works by convection. I don't know much about the electronics inside. I'd love to take the bulb apart and go over some of the components on the inside, but I don't know if I necessarily need to get permission to do that. This bulb here is roughly around 3600 lumens and the Kelvin is somewhere around 41 to 4500 on the Kelvin. Generally I like to grow plants somewhere between the 63 and 6700 Kelvin range but because most lighting you get are not full spectrum unless you buy grow bulbs you're going to have some issues even though you're providing 65 to 6700 Kelvin. So you may still have issues with it. What you really need is a good, clean, full-spectrum light, which is what this product is. This product pretty much contains the full spectrum from one end of the light spectrum to the other, and it touches into the infrared and the x-ray bands, which none of your fluorescent lighting is going to do. So this is very important when it comes to growing indoors. I'm, I'm actually going to do another follow-up video to this, a side-by-side, -side, one that's growing under the light and one that's not growing under the light, and we'll see how they sprout, if they come up quicker and stuff like that. That will be coming up in a future video. So that is this bulb here. Now that's the grow bulb. This bulb here, unbox that, you get a little thingamajingy like that is the front of it it's all good basically just take the cover up and nothing else in the box this bulb on the other hand is a little bit different than that I do believe this is a grow bulb as well 
Yes, this is another grow light. This is a 24 watt model. Again, this is a standard E26 base. Uh, the model on this particular one, and again, it'll be under the first two links in my description. The model on this is C21GL-CE26-24W. That is the model of this one. You're going to be pretty impressed when I turn this bulb on. That's what it looks like. And again, they have a ceramic heat disc in here. That's what controls the heating on these. These can get quite hot. Now, these are 24 watt, but they still get hot. They do have a convection ducting in here to create airflow so you don't overheat or cause any problems, so you're, you're safe that way. I'm going to do a little comparison of what a, at least a 15 watt fluorescent light looks like as opposed to what the 15 watt on this looks like. So, this is a 15 watt fluorescent light. Okay, that's what 15 watts is producing. If you, you can see on my countertop, not bad, but 15 watts is 15 watts. With fluorescent, you're not going to get the lumens that you want. Okay, so that's a 15 watt bulb on fluorescent lighting. Specifically, I believe this is a daylight bulb. And that spectrum, that Kelvin spectrum is probably 64 to 6500 on that. So your Kelvin is up there. So that's what that looks like. Okay, so let's take a look at what the 15 watt LED bulb looks like by Sansi. And as you can see, I'm probably blinding you right now. But just to give you an idea of how bright this really is. I cannot even keep my eyes open. The intensity of that light is amazing. You can see the color is a nice pink color. And you can see my hand under it. You can see the way it looks. Try to get you up close so you can see the bulbs in action. Don't want to blind you on there. But it's amazingly bright for 15 watt. 15 watt fluorescent. 15 watt LED. Big difference, guys. Huge difference when it comes to the amount of light and lumens that are coming out of this thing. Definitely something to consider. I, I'm a big fan of fluorescent lighting for growing indoors, but this is definitely an advancement in lighting technology. So this is really something to consider when you're looking to grow indoors. So definitely check that out. Let's take a look at the 24 watt, which is this one right here. This one's going to actually blow your mind. You ready? And there it goes. Look at this, guys. This is so bright, it's causing my my shutter to, to kind of... Now, this one is its probably not possible to even look at. I mean, the brightness on this thing is so bright, it's literally blinding me. You can see how bright that is. For 24 watts, this thing is comparing itself to 32 watts per bulb. On, this is what I use for a dual bulb fluorescent lighting. I use two T8s at 32 watts a bulb, so that would be 64 watts, producing 2,900 lumens. And that's a daylight bulb, which is roughly somewhere around the 65, 6,700 Kelvin range. I think it's 6,500 Kelvin. This thing is only 24 watts, and it's producing 31-something lumens somewhere around there for a 24 watt. So I'm getting more lumen power coming out of this than the two T8 daylight bulbs producing electric at the same time. So your cost of your cost saving for this bulb is going to be absolutely amazing. Okay, you're going to be absolutely shocked at how much you're going to save. Now I run my lights somewhere between 12 and 14 hours a day when I'm growing indoors. You got to run your lights generally a lot longer indoors in the winter time because it's not natural light and the plants need to continue their photosynthesis process a little bit longer than if they were in direct sunlight. It's not quite the same thing. So you got to run them longer. I got to run run them between like I say anywhere really between 10 and 12. Sometimes I do run them like 14 hours or something like that, but you do got to shut them off at some point because the plants they go into a nighttime growth cycle and they have to go through that process so you need to shut them down at some point but with this type of lighting i don't necessarily need to run them for 12 to 14 hours a day i could probably run them for a nice eight hours a day and they're getting all the light they need for that day 
so that again that's what the bulbs look like as you can see they got this little donut ring there it, it's quite a nice product I am definitely excited about using that I need to get lighting apparatuses for this particular bulb that I'm not set up to use so now I have to buy like a grow helmet you know and grow it inside of that now the other thing about this bulb that I find very useful for because of the type of lighting it is and again as you can see this particular bulb, even though it's a grow light, it's a full spectrum daylight bulb. This particular bulb that I'm interested in is because of the lighting. And I can put a diffuser in front of this and I can actually get a really good quality lighting. So when I'm doing my tomato reviews, my pod reviews, with a proper diffuser in the front, you won't see much shadowing. But I can actually use this for lighting in shooting videos. And that's important for me because, as you can see right now, my lighting is really subpar. Unfortunately, I have to shoot my videos this way at this time, but I do plan to use this and set it up with something that's going to uh, work with shooting video. So this is another consideration I have for this bulb. Another consideration I plan on using this bulb for growing my aquarium plants instead of using T8 daylight bulbs. I plan on using this instead and see how the plants respond to it, and I'm pretty sure it'll get a pretty good response. Now, the lifespan on these bulbs, I believe they're 32,000 hours burn time, whereas your normal TH are somewhere around 30, so these are going to last a little bit longer. I am recommending this product at this time. Sansi is offering you a 20% discount with this coupon on their Amazon website, so I will include links. The discount code will be down in the description as well as right here. You can see it on the screen. Just enter that discount code at checkout and you should receive the discount. So that's it. That's a product review and unboxing for the Sansai LED bulbs. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. Take care.